CS8200 3D. Using the CS8200 3D unit recorded class. This recorded class is designed for clinical team members. It demonstrates how to acquire images using the CS8200 3D system. The CS8200 3D imaging system is designed to capture 2D panoramic images, 3D CBCT images, and 3D model scanning images. Note, after each use of the unit, disinfect any parts that came into contact with the patient. See the user's guide for more information on disinfection and equipment maintenance. Patient Selection 2D Exams For all 2D exam types, in the patient selection, the user has two settings that can be adjusted. First, in the patient pane, choose the patient head size. The applicable head size adjusts the KV and MA as needed. Child, adult small, medium, or large. Second, in the patient pane, select the dental arch morphology or jaw shape. Select the applicable jaw shape to adjust the beam trajectory in order to capture the correct focal trough. U-shape is for a normal jaw shape, square, or V-shape for a narrow arch shape. Program Selection 2D Exams Next, select the Program button to access the Program pane for 2D. In the Program pane, click the area you would like to examine. You can choose from several 2D exams. Standard Panoramic, TMJ times 2 or times 4, Panoramic without TMJ, Maxillary Sinus, and Extra Oral Bite Wing. Note, you may select either both extra oral bite wings or you may select the right extra oral bite wing or the left extra oral bite wing. For an explanation of the radiological exam options, access the CS8200 3D Imaging System User's Guide. Parameter Settings for 2D and 3D Exams Making changes to the parameter settings applies to 2D and 3D exams. For patients whose bone density requires KV and MA settings different than the defaults, click the parameter button and select the settings you want. Select here to fine-tune the KV. KV sets the penetration power of X-ray photons through the body. A higher bone density requires a higher KV setting. A higher KV provides lower contrast in the resulting image. Select here to fine-tune MA. MA sets the number of X-ray photons released from the X-ray tube. Increasing MA will not provide more penetrating power or lower X-ray contrast. However, it will provide an image that is darker overall. If you would like to memorize these values as the default parameters for the patient type you have selected, click the I button and select Memorize Anatomy Settings. Until changed, the selected patient type uses the KV and MA values you have selected. Acquiring 2D Images Positioning a patient, which would include all 2D exam types, panoramic, segmental pan, sinus, and TMJ times 2 or times 4, and extra oral bite wing. Prepare the unit and patient, then use the optimized face-to-face -face positioning system to position the patient. Positioning a patient for all 2D exam types. Panoramic, segmental pan, sinus, and TMJ times 2 or times 4. Position the panoramic chin rest and make sure it clicks firmly into place. Cover the bite block with a plastic hygienic barrier. 
Ensure the bite block is completely covered with the hygienic barrier. Fit the bite block to the panoramic chin rest. For edentulous patients, use an edentulous bite block. Before the patient enters the unit, ask the patient to remove any metal objects above the neck, including jewelry, glasses, hearing aids, prosthesis, metal hair clips, or other metal objects. Place the lead apron on the patient. and instruct the patient to stand next to the unit. Next, adjust the unit to the patient's height. The CS8200 3D can be easily adjusted for patients standing or sitting, and is wheelchair accessible. Turn the temple support adjustment knob counterclockwise to open the temple support laterally. On the positioning panel, press and hold the height button to move the machine to the height of the patient. If the patient is tall, have the patient sit on a stool and then adjust the unit. Ask the patient to stand up straight with feet at shoulder width. Ask the patient to bite on the bite groove. Have the patient part their lips and verify that the teeth are in the bite groove. Ask the patient to rest both hands on the lower handles of the head and chin rest. When the patient is properly positioned, push the temple support back to match the patient's temple area. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise to close the temple supports and use the horizontal positioning indicators as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient head for a Frankfurt plane horizontal alignment. The Frankfurt plane passes through the lower border of the orbital socket and the tragus of the ear. Positioning a patient for 2D exam type extra oral bite wing. Use the horizontal positioning indicators as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient head for a camper plane horizontal alignment. Horizontal occlusion. The camper plane passes through the lower border of the nose and the tragus of the ear. Using both hands, align the horizontal and vertical position of the head. Ensure that the patient's midline is aligned with the spine. Ask the patient to close their eyes, remain still, breathe through the nose, Instruct the patient not to swallow during the acquisition. Place the tongue on the palate. Acquiring a 2D image. Taking the x-ray. Exit the room. Maintain visual contact with the patient throughout the duration of the exposure. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Simply press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release hand switch message and a short beep. The x-ray exposure indicator turns yellow and a warning sound is heard during x-ray emission. When the acquisition ends, the acquisition interface disappears and the acquired image is automatically transferred to the imaging window. After the acquisition is complete, return to the room. Release the patient and remove the hygiene barrier from the bite block. Acquiring 2D Images Review the image. Finally, you can review the image in your imaging software. Adjust the image contrast and sharpness using the artifact-free filter or use any of the image processing tools to ensure that you get the high image quality you need for an accurate diagnosis. Patient Selection 3D Exams For all 3D exam types, in the Patient Selection, choose the patient head size. The applicable head size adjusts the KV and MA as needed. Child, Adult Small, Medium, or Large. In the 3D Acquisition Interface, 
Click the Patient button to access the patient pane. Select the patient type. Child, Adult, Small, Medium, or Large. Your selection adapts exposure settings to maximize image quality for specific patient morphologies. Program Selection 3D Exams Click the Program button to access the Program pane. You can choose from the following programs. Full Upper and Lower Jaw Exam Upper Jaw Exam Lower Jaw Exam Focused Exam Also known as the Tooth Exam These programs are presented with different options. Low Dose Acquisition Button Enables Low Dose Acquisition option to reduce patient exposure. Fast Scan Button Minimizes acquisition time to avoid patient movement. Note, the CS8200 3D has two new field of views, 12x5 and 12x10. These new field of views are available as an upgraded feature. Smart Landmarks for Easier Positioning Match the area of interest in the patient's mouth with a letter on the bite plate. Select the letter plus upper or lower on the graphic interface. Identifying the correct sector. Click on a letter to select an area of interest. Verify that the highlighted white line matches the region to be acquired. A blue highlight indicates possible additional acquisition area based on patient anatomy. For a patient with challenging anatomy, you can assess the correct sector by placing the bite block with a protective barrier into the patient mouth. Identify the correct 3D bite blocks. The unit is delivered with four different bite blocks. The standard bite block centers the patient arch within the 8 cm diameter of the volume. The molar bite block is used to acquire 12 by 10 and 12 by 5 fields of view. The pediatric bite block offers the same focus as the standard bite block but is designed for use with a smaller jaw. The third molar offset bite block is used with the 5 by 5 left molar and right molar fields of view. Acquiring 3D Images Positioning a patient, which would include all 3D exam types. Upper arch, lower arch, upper arch only. Focus field upper exam, lower arch, and lower focus field exam. Prepare the unit and patient. Then, use the optimized face-to-face -face positioning system to position the patient. Cover the bite block with a plastic hygienic barrier. Ensure the bite block is completely covered with the hygienic barrier. Position and fit the 3D bite block support. Make sure you click it into place and push the locking latch down to lock the support in place. Before the patient enters the unit, ask the patient to remove any metal objects above the neck, including jewelry, glasses, hearing aids, prosthesis, metal hair clips, or other metal objects. Place the lead apron on the patient. and instruct the patient to stand next to the unit. Next, adjust the unit to the patient's height. The CS8200 3D can be easily adjusted for patients standing or sitting and is wheelchair accessible. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise to close the temple supports. Ask the patient to stand up straight with their feet at shoulder width. Ask the patient to bite into the 3D bite block. 
Make sure that the patient places the upper and lower incisors before the incisive stopper. Ask the patient to rest both hands on the lower handles of the head and chin rest. Ask the patient to relax and lower the shoulders. Note, for all focus field exams, remove the standard temple support from the right or left clamp, depending on the side of the mouth targeted for the focus exam. Replace it with the offset temple support cone. Use the horizontal positioning indicators as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient head for a Frankfurt plane horizontal alignment. The Frankfurt plane passes through the lower border of the orbital socket and the tragus of the ear. Positioning the patient for 3D exam types, lower 3D exam, and lower focus field exam. Use the horizontal positioning indicators as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient head for a camper plane horizontal alignment. Horizontal occlusion. The camper plane passes through the lower border of the nose and the tragus of the ear. Using both hands, align the horizontal and vertical position of the head. Ensure that the patient's midline is aligned with the spine. Acquiring a 3D image. Taking the x-ray. Ask the patient to close their eyes, remain still, breathe through the nose. Instruct the patient not to swallow during the acquisition and to place the tongue on the palate. Exit the room. Maintain visual contact with the patient throughout the duration of the exposure. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Simply press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release hand switch message and a short beep. The x-ray exposure indicator turns yellow and a warning sound is heard during x-ray emission. At the end of the x-ray, return to the room while the volume is being reconstructed. Release the patient and remove the hygiene barrier from the bite block. Now you should be able to position a patient for 2D and 3D images. Choose the correct program for 2D and 3D images and acquire a 2D or a 3D image.